Assalamu alaikum, Kamal al Maki here, Black Belt of Da'wah. I want to share some Black Belt techniques from the best da'wah of all time, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa Al-Maghrib Institute presents Q&A with Kamal al Maki. Okay, so everyone knows the story of when the Prophet went to a ta'if and he was attacked by the youth and the slaves and they pelted him with stones. And by the way, just so you know, they pelted him with stones for a distance of five kilometers or three miles or something. Imagine for three miles someone's following you and just throwing stones. You'd be like, really? Enough already. Just It was enough when we did it for a hundred yards, like three miles. And the Prophet always went through more than you could ever go through. And so now he finally is resting with Zayd ibn Haritha at the vineyard and they sent him a servant with grapes. And the Prophet even though he could have been concerned with his wounds, I would have just been looking at my wounds. I wouldn't be worried about this guy bringing me the grapes. I'd be like, thank you. I go away. Let me look at this thing. But the Prophet never, never forgot da'wah opportunity. So this young man, his name is Addas. He brings the grapes. The Prophet says, Bismillah, and he eats the first one. And Addas is not from Arabia. You can tell from his name. He's not an Arab. So he notices that this is not a common term. People don't say Bismillah in a ta'if before they eat. So he said, this speech that you just said, the people of this area, they don't say it. They're not used to saying something like that. So the Prophet ﷺ now immediately noticed a da'wah opportunity. Watch the techniques and watch how quickly the Prophet ﷺ is going to get a shahada. So the Prophet ﷺ says, Masmuk wa madinuk. What is your name and what's your religion? Because if he said people in this area don't say that, you must be from another area. Now, the man says his name is Addas and that he's a Christian. And so the Christian from Nainawa specifically, Nineveh, which is now in Iraq. So the Prophet now is going to take advantage of that. And he has some information. He knows something about this man's hometown. Now, you know, Arabs weren't like a very studious or academic group. They didn't like study the world and translate books of other cultures. So Addas, you can imagine how lonely he is in Ta'if. Nobody knows where Nainawa is or if they know, they don't have much information about it. But the Prophet has got some info and he's going to share it with him. And that's going to be heart softening for sure. So the Prophet tells him from Nainawa, the land of the righteous Yunus ibn Matta, meaning the Prophet Yunus a.s. Now, can you imagine how this feel for this must make this young man Adas feel that yes, not only do you know my city, but you also know the prophet of that city, and you can imagine the people of Nainawa, Yunus alayhi salam is a big deal for them. It's our prophet, right? The prophet of this city. So then the Prophet mentioned something like very close to this man's heart. So he was so amazed that he said, "And how do you know Yunus ibn Matta?" And the Prophet immediately da'wah opportunity. He says, "He is my brother. He is a prophet. I am a prophet." And he is a prophet. And so Addas immediately jumped up and began to kiss the hands and the head of the Prophet ﷺ. The funny thing is, the masters who had sent their servant, they looked at each other and they said, look at this. We sent him the boy with some dates or some grapes and now he corrupted the boy too. But the point is that the Prophet ﷺ took advantage of, of like this incident here and immediately took da'wah opportunity. Instead of looking after his own wounds, or I'll deal with this another time, 10 days he stayed in the ta'if and not a single person became Muslim and on his way out, he's still going to try with the person bringing him the grapes. That's da'wah technique for you. That's what happens when you look at the seerah in details and you learn from the technique of the Prophet ﷺ. Not just in da'wah, in da'wah, in counseling, in arbitration, in everything. And that's what we're going to be doing in Desert Rose. Seerah with Kamal al-Makki coming soon to a city near you. Wassalamu alaikum.